I had a man say to me once that the reason that he likes dating younger women is because they're not so angry. I literally was like, I like younger women because they're still so sweet. Like, yeah, babe, it's a lack of experience with your literal gender. They don't know yet. Nobody likes an angry woman, right? It's okay to be a little angry, though. No, honey, these younger women already know. It's because Chad, Pookie, and Tyrone haven't run them over on these dating apps yet. When they were in their 20s and 30s and are now angry, bitter, and resentful of men. Okay, so it's not because they don't know yet. It has everything to do with them not going through that. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna see 30-year-old woman admits she's hit the wall. Let's get started right away. Oh no, I absolutely agree with this um i wrote a whole column article on it it's on my substack you can see the link on it. it's called why you need to meet mr right before you're 30 I have just said that go and have a read before you quill me in the comment the way society works women you need to be under 30 if you are need to be desirable to a man but not all women and not all men in the same way i don't expect a man to provide for me yes i need to lean into my feminine more and not be so independent is something i'm working on i'm never, still never going to be that woman who will want or expect a man to provide for me and all i want from him is money also child free by choice and if someone like me exists then there has to be a male counterpart that also doesn't want children or isn't a man who just wants a 20 something pretty thing to bear him children has never slept with anybody else and all the other things that the patriarchy expects women to be in the same way that the patriarchy expects men to provide, etc. which I've done in my other post. When I say patriarchy, I don't mean men or I'm blaming men, like many of the comments seem to think so. There's many different meanings, but I'm meaning it as the societal systems, typical gender roles. Comments in my last post about patriarchy it's only proven to me how unaware we are and how it's hurting both men and women. It's just being aware of it, at least not trying put everyone in the same box because if you're anything like me I don't fit in that box either and I know that other people out there exist too. A lot of these women will fool themselves into thinking that these guys are interested in younger women and ignoring me because I scare them. He can't get girls our age. He can't date women over 30 because they know about him. They know how he plays. That's why he needs to date younger people. Why does he have to get hot 18 year olds? Because us 55 year olds won't let him. We're not his. We can't have him when we're 55 and have lines, crow's feet, and gray hair. It's not his. But obviously the lady in the video has some cognitive dissonance because she, she herself does not want to come clean and just face reality that, hey, if you don't settle the night before you turn 30. Oh, girls are like, oh, I've gotten every single guy I've ever wanted. Like they're bragging about it or something. This is how delusional I am. This is how I thought it works, you know? I'm like, well duh you're a girl don't you don't we just get everything we ever wanted like that's that's what's going on in my brain because since i was little i'm like i thought women just get the pick of the litter you know i just thought like we get to be like i want that one and i'll get it i didn't know there was a chance i wasn't gonna get it because i always got it you, you know what i mean you know you know what i mean of course because it's clear that every woman lives in a fairy tale where all she has to do is snap her fingers and men come running like puppies it's not like we have to deal with rejection, sadness, or other real human feelings. I'm sorry, I forgot. Being a woman in the dating world has never been hard or frustrating. With a magical aura, we just walk through life, picking up fans like shiny objects. And of course, our needs and feelings are never brushed off or forgotten. Nope, we just wave our wands and get what we want right away. That's because it's clear that the real world is just like the stories we made up as kids. I felt silly for forgetting for a moment how perfect and untouchable we all think we are in our fantasy world of privilege. Don't worry about truth, sweetheart. Your delusions are more important. As a childless woman in my early 40s, I'm constantly thinking about my retirement and what that looks like. And it's always the same, no matter what. And it has been since my 30s, which is to live in a hut or a well-framed cabin in the woods with a community of women. And we all just like grow our own food, make our own preserves, read books, fix everything ourselves, have coffee together in the morning, drink wine at night, have a bunch of cats and dogs and chickens and goats, maybe some horses, pigs, whatever. And then we do really weird, right? 
that makes everyone scared to come up to our property and just leaves us alone forever until we all just die in our beds happy. That sounds like a pretty good retirement. Yes, isn't that the dream retirement plan of every 40-year-old woman without kids? Because, really, what could be more appealing than living in a cabin in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of other women, a lot of animals, and a never-ending supply of homemade jams and jellies? Who needs the noise and excitement of the city or the adventure of traveling when you can fix things during the day and scare people away with your weird nights? Honestly, it's like a perfect heaven, with the added bonus of being alone and mysterious to keep the neighbors away. Goals for retirement? Yes. Don't forget to get extra chickens and cats for the place to feel more cozy. You ever been out with friends and realized that you were the only one not getting hit on? And then immediately thinking it's because you exist in a bigger body? It's horrible because you know that like male attention isn't the end all be all, but at the same time it still hurts. I'm curvy, I'm bigger than most of my friends, so my first instinct is like, oh, they don't want a bigger girl. This past summer I was at a hostel and I saw these guys. I went to introduce myself and I was standing next to this girl that was just like, complete Victoria's Secret, like the old Victoria's Secret supermodel vibes. And I was like, hi, I'm Juliana. And while he was shaking my hand, he was literally looking at her being like, nice to meet you. And you guys, I got so mad. After that, he didn't talk to me again. And I got so mad. I left the bar and I wrote like slam poetry on my phone. I can show you if you want to see it. Because it was so many years of like pent up anger and frustration that I feel like I didn't even get the chance to introduce myself. I didn't even get the chance to like meet them and let them get to know me. I felt like I was cast aside and I felt like I didn't have any inherent value to men because I wasn't skinny, which is uh, horrible. Any of my other curvy mid-sized people that want to vent or tell me what you think about this, um, let me know. I'd love to know if I'm not alone in this. It's clear that this girl is just playing the victim. So many of these pretty girls have done this. You know what I mean? In fact, they're not even that fat. Maybe a few pounds too heavy, but that shouldn't stop her from meeting a lot of guys, right? Her face looks nice. Nice look. I mean, I mean, I would talk to this girl, right? She really doesn't look that fat. Oh, she's still young. I know what she's doing here because I see a lot of girls doing it. They try to make themselves look like victims so that they can connect to all the other women who act like victims these days. It seems like they're a lot like women in particular. They really sell women the idea that they are victims. Like, girl, you know, and you're being disenfranchised and oppressed. I don't agree with you. You're not, not in 2024. Okay, no way, not in 2024. And for sure, not in any Western country. No way, not in the United States at all. I'm in bed, so I look like hell. But I wanted to come on here, and I never have. I've never made a TikTok before. But I just saw someone on Facebook post that they might be getting divorced and somebody commented back that's why i decided not to get married at 22. i got married when i was 23 i got divorced when i was 25. it was the hardest thing i might have been through at that point in my life but i know myself so much better i know the things that i want in life i know the things that matter to me i know that settling isn't worth it at all worth it wow my lips do their own thing anyways be who you are if you get divorced at a young age let that guilt go i know that the world tries to push onto you this misconception that it's a requirement to be successful in your marriage no be successful in loving yourself that's all you can do. You can't guarantee anyone else is going to show up. You show up for you every day. So here's some advice for all of you, but especially for the women. Don't listen to people who have already failed. Do not listen to people who wish you luck. Do you agree? It's okay if they failed and got back up, dusted themselves off, and talked about what they did wrong and how they could do better next time. But once more, Let's go back to this very defeatist way of thinking. Oh, that stinks. Don't do it again. Do not pay attention to them. Even more so when it comes to marriage. Do too. From the point of view of development, men and women should have been together, right? We were meant to become close. 
This is why I still teach people how to pick up girls and date. I really think that's what we were meant to do. Sure. There are a lot of bad people in the world like the passport bros which are popular with modern women. I get it. But there are still good women out there. But that's the last thing you should do. Especially if you're a woman who wants to get married or who is having problems in her marriage and has thought about divorce. Do not watch those movies. Do not watch films of people who have lost or failed. You know what to do. Watch movies of people or winners. There are married women who might be going through the same thing you are, right? Click like to let people know you liked the show. I'll let you know when I add a new movie if you ring the bell. Thank you for everything. Today we want to make more. Check out more movies of people running into walls by coming back to this page.